Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. No disrespect to Bun B. He's from Port Arthur. He's not from Houston. Make A lot of people try to say, oh, I made a song Bun B. Bun B not from Houston. No disrespect to him. This is Houston, Texas we're talking about. You just said Houston, didn't you? Did Absolutely. you say Port Arthur? Did you say Houston? Houston. All right, then. Hate is wild. Like, you know what I'm saying? If Bun say, man, I was born in motherfucking the manor and we left six months later, all right, Bun, you a PA. Yeah. Living to the sixth grade is just diabolical, kid. Come on, you could have mentioned this to me one time, kid. You could have told me one time, hey, man, I used to live out. We shot already. We shot I Ain't Heard of That in uh, Northwood Manor Park. My first album. He could have, while I had him on there with uh, Skateboy P out there with me, we had Hype Wig, the best video ever. I ain't mention, hey, I used to live down the street from here. <laughs> Damn. You let me fight out by myself all these years, man. This is crazy. This is diabolical. Ain't that what the youngsters say? Yeah, Houston fuck with Port Arthur. Yeah, but what it be is a lot of the times, and I think that that's what the issue was. Like, people just don't automatically include Port Arthur rappers into Houston conversations. You see what I'm saying? So I think that's what South was saying. Like, South was trying to say that Bun is not from Houston. He's from Port Arthur. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't included when we say Houston rappers. You know what I'm saying? So it's all Texas at the end of the day. And, and at the end of the day, I include Bun and Pimp them and Port Arthur. It ain't too far, you know, it's right down the street. Wow, 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 man. Hey, man, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, talked about this a little bit yesterday. Well, Slim Thug, he ended up speaking out, um, you know, and a lot more people had something to say, but I just, I'm very intrigued with Slim because I rock with Slim, I rock with Sauce, I rock with Bun. Um, I just basically know that the devil is always busy. You know, when, when this happened, think about what happened. Everything blew up. He, Sauce was originally talking about Drake, right? This was all toward the Drake instance. But now they flip it. Everything becomes, is Bun B from Houston? Is Bun B from Port Arthur? Is, 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 where is he from? Where, why, you know, and, and this becomes a thing. So, so, again, Slim has the right to speak. I say, Bun, what the heck been going on? Why you ain't tell me you from Houston? Because of the local demographics. But let, let's not get it twisted, man. Like I said yesterday when I was on the, other, um, uh, the review, when this first happened, think about it like this. Man, when it come down to who embraced these artists, when it come down to the fans, this Texas, man. If you go back and listen to anything, you will see people referring to this as Texas. Uh, watch this. Um, Texas from the south. And Louisiana from the south. So, when you think about the South, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't get that's little Kiki, man. Shout out to Kiki, that's my boy. You can't get caught up in these demographic. Like we know, we in the South, and and so whether whether Bun from Houston, whether Bun from Port Arthur, wherever Bun from, Bun repped the whole South. Bun repped Texas harder than anybody. That was the whole reason for me really becoming such a fan. And I told him that in the interview. Nobody repped Texas like them boys did. UGK repped the whole thing. Everybody else was trying to say, I'm from Fifth Ward, I'm from here. And, and, and shout out to Willie D and all those guys. But they more, they, they showed their, their street and where they were from. But when it came down to UGK and Pimp C, they repped this South thing on a whole nother level. Lil Kiki, when they did knocking doors down, draped up and dripped out, you know, and all these different songs. A lot of that stuff, man, you got to realize, man, Texas, really, between Lil Kiki, um, UGK, they repped this whole thing, man, like, it's this Texas thing. L Lil Kiki built up on Texas. They they can do a concert here. That's why you, they don't even have to go nowhere else. They spoil down here. They don't have to go. They can make money right here. That was what Lil Flip showed us. They don't have to leave out of their Democrat. But we in the South, and at the end of the day, I think that's more something that we got a you know we got a boy song you know and and like i said bun one of the realest ones like i said my best interview by far for me you know as a fan you know i i just really i trip on the facts but slim thug pretty much i agree with slim on what he said he said a lot of other stuff too he talked about representation of drake being that jazz prince was the ones that discovered him when you go back and listen to it you can go back to his live well, i don't know if he took it down but 
A lot of stuff he's saying is just really, really giving you his truth on how he feel about it. Sauce got a right to feel the way he feel as well. Sauce feel like this, hey, man, this thing is, uh, you know, uh, you got to be respectful because we here and you can't just come down here and do it the way you want to do it. So kudos to all them boys. I love the leadership quality and everything. I like leaders. I don't like no followers. It's a bunch of followers. I'm not going to say no names. There's a bunch of people that didn't become number one rappers out of Texas out of Atlanta, out of different places, Georgia, I, I, I mean, Alabama, out of Mississippi, because they wasn't leaders. They had to be led by somebody, Memphis. They had to be led by somebody. But when you're a leader, then you basically going to stand up and stand out. So I got my girl reality TV on here, man. Did you hear everything going on uh, yesterday? You know, I was tuned in. Then you, you sent that to me early yesterday morning, didn't you? Yeah, because I, I really don't play by Texas, for real. And I don't like how they turned it into like some controversy between, because like you said, it started with a Drake and then it, but they only took that clip out. And, you know, that's what went viral throughout the whole conversation. Why have to be that? Because Texas is Texas is something that, like I say, when you're from Texas, you got this stigma. I already know that. That's why, you know, people, I walk with a little chip on my shoulder when it comes down to who we are. Bum B, Slim Thug. Man, the boys know where, you know, that stuff started down here. We, we bought them tapes before everybody. We bought them CDs for everybody. I'm going to always say that. Them boys hit Longview, Lufkin, Nacogdoches, Texarkana. Uh, T Town Music, Big T, them boys was all over there in at Mike's and in, in, in Longview. They they was everywhere selling their stuff here. They knew they was smart. They didn't have to go nowhere else. As a fan, I know because I bought them, all of them. Every time something come out, they, I bought them. They do the same thing in Dallas, like they I bought them. Dallas too. Big Tuck, uh, Yellow Bees. I spent money on all this stuff. Um, I spent money. It's a Dallas Fort Worth, and people be like, "Oh, Fort Worth is not Dallas," and I be like, "But it is for me." Yeah, well, at the end of the day, like like I said, when other people are looking in, they, they love it because they find a way to divide us, and they know we're so big, they can't beat us when we all together. So they try to divide it all up and come with little plots to try to figure out ways to make a scrap amongst one another while they take all the loot and run, all the recognition. But when you, it come down to Texas and Louisiana and the way we was built up and structured, when Jay Prince said when he heard that UGK, he drove fast as he could to Port Arthur, and, and, and try to get them boys signed. Also, uh, uh, some more people that did the same thing when they heard about UGK. Jay-Z, another one. I had to, you know, I, that riding dirty, I studied that. You know why? Because we got it down here. You're going to have to study what we got going on. And at the end of the day, uh, man, Slim, them, they always paid homage to them guys, man. So this Texas thing is real. You're going to always hear me voice my opinion on it. Um, like I said, a lot of times, I got to say this, like I said yesterday, and I, ain't, I don't care if you don't come on my platform, but you run up to these other platforms. Y'all going to keep hearing me say this. You run up to these other platforms on the East and West Coast before you even come down here to Texas and do a, a press run down here. If you do a press run in your own city at the same time, that's probably why when you go other places, they don't recognize where you're from. Y'all know better than that because that's how this whole thing started. And I ain't saying you got to come on mine, but... Like I said, when it come down to the say cheeses, the real lives, and all the different people, big facts, you got a whole press run here in Dallas. You got a whole press run and doing Atlanta. You got B High down there. You got all them different people down to 85 South. Where y'all at with it? Y'all running around here doing a lot of stuff. Only a few of the reals come through and really know how to rock with what they know they built and designed. Cause this was built and designed by y'all. The ones who older, y'all know better. So I'm just saying we got to support each other as well. I go everywhere too. I go to Vegas, Cali, Chicago. I go to Miami. I'm getting ready to be in Miami. So it's a trip. We always everywhere talking to everybody as well, but don't never forget who you are. And always, man, check home first. Cause like I said, it's a lot of y'all going doing press runs and y'all don't even come down here to your own city, your own town, your own people. And you run over, and that's crazy to me. Cause we still get the same numbers and we gonna eat regardless cause our people support us here in these cities, in these different states and different countries. Man, shout out to Sean Paul, shout out to Ice-T, shout out to all them boys that rock with me. Shout out to Faison Love, everybody, man. Uh, Lil Kiki, man, I got some dope, dope interview with some dope, dope people. And the ones who don't get to come in, that's cause, hey, we having all the fun over here. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Am I right? You you been in that studio when they pull, when they pull up, nigga? It's a it's a movie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all, man. But it's all love, man. Like I said, everybody getting their loot. It ain't all about the money as much as it's about the culture, man. Shout out to Carlos Miller. He always come rock with with Boss Talk too. So I just I love what I'm seeing. I like to hustle. I like to talk that talk. Uh, man, everybody keep doing your thing from Texas all the way down to New Orleans, like Master P say. You see, from Richmond, California, all the way to New Orleans. Everybody that's looking like us is out here making entrepreneurship moves. Do your thing, man. So, Reality TV, what's up, man? We we, we traveling? Or are, we on, are we in the air next week? Yeah, we outside. Okay, that's all they need to know. We're going to be somewhere in the city near you. Yeah. The whole crew. We're about to step up and show out. It's summertime. So your check. Mama and your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you, thank you, uh, Reality TV. Uh, but really, man, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Go out and check these interviews out. Go out and check. We got a lot of new interviews popping up. Uh, go and check out. Like I said, sauce, sauce. He everywhere. Uh, Manny Fresh and Juvie. They you can you can check their interviews out. I think they up on the East Coast doing runs and probably better go to California next. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's a lot of them doing press runs right now. Y'all, I'm feeling a little slighted. Where y'all at? Boss Talk 101, man. Check it out, man. Make sure you guys keep on doing your thing and support. Rock with the movement. We about to get in now. Boss Talk 101. Watch what we do next. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.